Welcome to the ORCID Advisors Compliance Training Series, Firearm Tracing Control, Legal, Compliance, and Audit. It should be clear that the burden of traceability of firearms and components rests on those who maintain the serialized history in their records. This burden requires an organization to have as close of a zero tolerance for error in its record keeping as possible. Legal, compliance, and audit play a critical role in helping an organization achieve zero tolerance. Legal can play an important role in submitting variance notifications and requests to the ATF. It is recommended that one individual or department in the company log and file correspondence such as this with the ATF. Internal audit, or another party that is independent of operations, should be responsible for conducting periodic, bi-directional physical inventories. Every firearm on or off premise should be cross-checked to the company book of acquisition and disposition and vice versa. Additional considerations include utilizing the event to conduct additional process benchmarking information, requiring individuals who hold firearms off-site, temporary assignment, to send in a physical picture of the firearm and serial number along with the newspaper date, this method of validation is considered blind and limits the risk of error. Freezing serialized inventory movements during the count. Any firearms deemed missing from the count should be reported to the ATF on a theft and loss report within 48 hours of it officially being deemed missing. Where possible, inventories should be made of the actual firearm serial number, not the number on the box. However, this audit is an opportune time to compare box serial numbers to firearm serial numbers. If it is unpractical to open every box, then a statistical sample should be used. Markings should be validated for completeness and accuracy. Scanning technology can significantly speed the process. Records management conducts actual traces on behalf of the ATF. Records personnel have 24 hours to respond to an ATF trace on Form 3312.1. A structured trace escalation process should be developed to manage the following scenarios. Quick response. Serial number exists. Company firearm. Request for validation. Serial number doesn't exist. Record discrepancy. Escalation. After validation, the serial number trace requested does not exist or relates to a record discrepancy. Exceptions. Pre-Gun Control Act. Without records, with records, should respond and data that predates 20-year federal record retention period for transfers. Additionally, the records team also plays a critical role in the following filing functions that facilitate tracing efforts. Giving notice of serial number sequences to the ATF in the case of variances. Tracking serial number sequence used by the company or its subcontractors who might apply the serial numbers. NFA Form 2, 3, 4, 5, and Form 9 Processing. AFMER Annual Firearm Manufacturing Form Submittal ATF Form 6 and 6A Import Applications and Volume Allowance Tracking Filing of ATF Theft and Loss Forms and Interstate Theft and Loss Forms with the ATF Thank you for watching this segment of our video training series.